Hey everybody, I'm just waiting on a couple of people to join in. I'm like a minute early. I said I was going to join in at 2 o'clock, but listen, got a lot to talk about. And you never know how long I'm going to be going live. Just never know. <laughs> got a lot to talk about, and I'm answering any questions. If y'all got some questions, just let me know. I'll give it a few moments. Oh, I don't even know if anybody's in here yet. I'm looking for some music to put on. What's going on, Rockland? Oh my gosh, listen, so I've been writing. I just got my voice back. Probably like, I'm turning it down. I got my voice back like probably like a week ago. And then I wrote like three different concepts, but I was like, I need to be around you so you can tell me what, what, like how you want the feel to be because I know what feel I went for, but you didn't like it. Hey, hey yo! <laughs> I didn't even know. They done messed up my order and everything. Oh. They did. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> All I do is throw it on. That's all I do is throw it on. Yeah, it's so easy. I don't know how many I got. <laughs> I got a lot, <laughs> but my my um, hair lady, I'll give you her information too. She got anything you need, or well, if you want to get sewn, she got loose bundles. She got bundles, three sixty. She got everything. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> okay, I got you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna send you the concept. Let me see what I got. All right. Come see me before you leave. Okay, so look. I'm about to send it to you right now. Ah, uh, you might not like it though. I'm not used to just writing about shoes, <laughs> but it's a challenge that I am willing to do. Okay, cool. I'm with that. I'm definitely with that. I'm looking for your number right now. That you sent me, oh my goodness, I liked it. Yeah, I was impressed. I'm not gonna lie, I was impressed. Okay, those are the words that I just sent you. I really, let me see if I can pull, nah. 
probably can't. I'm not even logged into my email. But yeah, I like that song. Who else do? Hey, everybody that joined. I'm just waiting to talk. We got a couple more people joining. Let me see if I can share this. Sorry. Okay, it's 2.03, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started, no matter who I'm here. You feel me? I got some stuff to say. Alright. Okay, so listen. First off, it's a lot of features that I've done out here in Detroit. It's... So many that um, people are still doing features with me that I don't even know. Like I, I didn't recorded some stuff, and um, people still buying those hooks. And um, a couple of them I didn't even really get to actually meet, but most of them I have. Um, I've worked with F and B D Z. Um, I did Hard to Kill with him from um, his Washington D C album. Washington D C though. Um, and I did Need Me off his gift album and um, Eastside Reup and FMBDZ I did that hustle for real with them um, everything that I did not everything I got a few things on my YouTube channel so make sure that you subscribe and you like and check my channel out because I got a lot of stuff hey what's going on um, also um Gino Cash, I did the song You Know with him. Coach Joey, Waiting on You and In My Bag. Um, Baby James, All Night Long. Um, Little Blade, I bought it. Um, STM, I did Get Paid with them. It's a go and can't win. Now, this next one, <laughs> see, this is all going to go along with what I'm going to tell y'all today. Now, um, I did some songs with G Baby. The first one I did with him was Mile High Club. A lot of people don't even know I'm in the song Mile High Club because I'm in the very background, but I'm there. <laughs> I did Mile High Club. I wrote the um, hook to Nana, and I also wrote a little bit of his verse. Um, I wrote the hook for Lolo or On The Low. I think it's Lolo on his album, I don't know. And um, Like Boom. So many more, I can't even. I don't even know how to touch all of them, but I even got tracks with um, Snoop Dogg's cousin, Young Sag. Make sure y'all go check him out on Instagram. Um, his album just dropped. It's called Dear Long Beach. Yeah, it's called Dear Long Beach. And our song, um, oh my God, what's the name? 5 a.m. That one is a single that's already out with me and Young Sag. And then after that, we did, oh my God, what's the name of the song? Um, he changed it to Not Free. Yeah, it's called Not Free. I had to think because when I wrote it, I didn't think that it was going to be called Not Free. <laughs> Anyways, um, also, a big, 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 big thing that artists need to know is to have a support system, to have your own team. Because a lot of these people that's already out or that's been trying to do something, probably before you, like me personally, I've been doing this music professionally for about a year and a half, but only because I was in prison. If I wasn't in prison, trust and believe me, I would have been out here doing music because before I went to prison, I was doing music. I've been singing since I was five. Um, music has always been my life. It's always been a big part of my life. Um, anything to do with music, writing, um, helping um, make beats with my man. Um, I help engineer. I do a lot of different stuff. So I do vocal coaching. You know, it's a lot of people that say, oh, you know, I've always wanted to sing, but I can't sing. And I'm like, I can make you a singer. <laughs> I can. <laughs> All you got to do is give me some time and work with me and take it serious because I can make you a singer believe that all you gotta do is pull it out of you and a lot of people don't know all you have to do is just pull it out of you now i'm gonna do another video soon i'm gonna get some easy tips on how to sing like how to pull it out of you anyways also make sure that you are registering yourself make sure that you're a registered artist because 
motherfuckers will fuck you over. Excuse my language. I am sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> but people will really, they don't care. They don't. They do not care. If they can get away with not paying you for a song, you think they won't do it? If they can get away with just not putting your BMI number, and a lot of you probably don't even know what a BMI number is, if 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 they don't tell you how to do some of that stuff, which a lot of people don't, I'm not even gonna lie. Every time I work with an artist and we in the studio vibing, I always tell them, hey, are you registered? I, I always ask them all type of questions and they'd be like, what? Anybody I've worked with, you can ask them, Janelle will school you on some shit. For real, I do not play about this because I want my stuff to be correct because I've already been fucked over like that several times and I won't let it happen again and I do not want it to happen to people that's coming, anybody actually, but especially up and coming artists. Like, come on now, we trying to make it to, come on now. Anyways, make sure that you um, register through um, BMI or ASCAP. Um, there's others. I don't know too much about them. I'm registered through BMI. Um, so far, I've been registered with BMI for about almost almost uh, two years now, and I haven't had any problems. Make sure that if you feel like if you feel like your album is gonna, you probably matter of fact, I'll tell you that in a minute. But if you feel like your album is going to make it to the radio or if you get on to a lot of these internet um online radios or people that go live and play music um if you're going on there you, you never know who's listening you know what i'm saying so you always want to make sure that each one of your songs are encoded you never know who's going to pick it up and who might play the radio might just so happen to play your song because somebody sent it in and thought it was dope as fuck, and you won't even be getting no credits for that yeah oh, okay okay yeah i didn't know that okay yes so ask captain bmi and the other ones are by invite says rockland and anyway so um make sure that all of your music is encoded um i think i got a thing where y'all can see but it's gonna give you like little sections it's gonna say country rock uh, r and but it's, no, it's going to say urban AC and urban. You want to click every single one of them. I know it seems like it's a lot. It, it really is because it's a lot to, especially if you're an independent artist. It takes a lot, a lot. So let me see if I can find, let me see if I can pull up the, um, the BDS and um, virtual encoding website because that website, um, that's, you're gonna have to get all your stuff encoded number one that i suggest everybody to do that why not you never know what's gonna get hit you, you never know which song your song is gonna be the best song you never know which one i got plenty of them i got a whole nother album already ready but i can't release it just yet i'm ready to release it trust and believe me i'm ready to release it but <clears throat> anyways also cd baby um i don't know what the other ones are I think it's like um, TuneCore. Um, I'm real familiar with CD Baby. And um, so if you got CD Baby and you need help on your CD Baby and you need to know how to register your song, you need to know how to do all of that stuff, let me know because I can help you with that too. Um, I'm not too familiar with um, ASCAP. So you want to ask somebody who has ASCAP. But it's pretty much the same thing. Now, when you fill out your BMI, everything is supposed to equal up to 200 percent whenever you filling out like to register a song 200 percent. now your engineer always gets 50 percent actually they get 52 percent for engineering i mean your producer i'm sorry your producer always gets 50 percent. and if they engineered for you as well so if they're your engineer and your producer they get 52 percent. and then the rest will go to you and whoever's on your track or if it's just you and the producer it's just the rest is going to go to you so as long as it equals up to 200 so it's like you give him 52 percent if he engineered for you and then you take the rest and then if he didn't engineer for you you give him 50 percent, and then you take the rest but make sure that it equals up to 200 percent. all right let me get my pen out well, i probably already got it out okay anyways i love talking y'all don't judge me 
<laughs> I just want to help because I know how it feels to be fucked over. And I would hate. Man, let me tell you something. If I wouldn't have went to prison, I would not be able to deal with any of the shit that I deal with now. I wouldn't. No, because back then I was. You couldn't keep me out of trouble. I was always in trouble. Always fighting grown men, women. <laughs> I went to DHS when I was 14. And um, I think out here they call it CPS. It's when the state takes you. So they took me at 14. And then when they separated me from my sister, that's when I really went crazy. I'm like, ah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> y'all don't want to let me be with my sister? Then I don't want y'all to be around me. So I moved around a lot. I didn't really have friends like that because I was always somewhere different every other week. I didn't really last in a place longer than a week. <laughs> That's sad to say, but I was young. I was angry. I was, and I wanted to be with my family. So anyways, let's get back on the subject. Now, all right, register all your music. Also, make sure you copyright your stuff. I cannot tell you how important that is. Now, I've been in a couple scenarios where I wrote a song and the person that I did a song with, um, they stole the song as their own. And them even knowing that I wrote it, they didn't even know that I wrote some of their verse. They put featuring me. <laughs> like it was all so what I'm saying is it's easy to happen and it could be somebody that you really really fuck with it can be somebody that you just thought that y'all was just gonna make it together no people switch up for opportunity every fucking day every fucking day every day I never really wanted to be matter of fact I'm not even gonna lie I don't care who watched this I never wanted to be signed that's not what I strive to be. Everybody around me, I wanted my team, my peoples to win. I wanted them to get on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's a, I purposely didn't do a video for my album the, the whole time because I didn't want my album to be about looks. Everybody always tell me I'm pretty. I, I get some haters tell me that I'm ugly, so what? But I'm beautiful to somebody. I'm beautiful to this person. I'm beautiful to that person. I might be ugly to you, but that's cool. Anyways, but I didn't want my my looks to be the main focus point. I wanted what I'm saying to be heard. My song Sexual Healing is on the charts right now in Buffalo on Power 96.5. And you can also check them out at www.power965radio.com and request me anytime. Now, honestly, that was the last song I would have ever picked to be off my album, to be on the radio right now. If anything, I would have let that be all the way last because I didn't want, I didn't want to be portrayed as sexual, like, you know, a sex symbol or none of that. I didn't, I want my music to be just realness like that was just a little piece of my album you know it, it's like it's 10 different songs it all go into it's all a little story so it's, that was just a piece of my story and it was just like why would y'all pick the sex part like out of all the songs i'm talking about lupus i'm talking about being in prison i'm talking about making it and y'all would rather hear some sex music but it's cool <laughs> Because <laughs> whenever I finally do get signed, I'm going to be coming out with the music that I really want to come out with. Anyways, all right. Make sure you keep paperwork on everything that you do. Invoices. Um, if you do a feature with somebody, always, even if it's just something on paper, like I'll give you a little example. This is what I do. Like I type out what I'm going to do. Like if I'm going to do a set, like um, if I do a feature at Mix Factory 1, I say, um, I'm doing a session at Mix Factory 1 on such and such date at such and such time with such and such. I'm charging them such and such. If they wrote the hook, I write I wrote, write that they wrote the hook, da 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 da, da. Anyways, um, sometimes I don't get as detailed as long as you have signatures and to the gist of the point, you know, everything is all good. But this, I'm going to give you an example. 
of a recent one. Alright, here is a recent, well, this ain't a recent one, but, oh wait, no, I'm not going to show this one. No, because you're on my live. I don't want to show it first, because you can see your name, like, okay, alright. Now, this one, I did two hooks for him, so, you see those signatures? That's all of our signature. The last one is the witnesses signature. Then we got the producer signature. You got the artist signature. You got they. Well, he had a sponsor, so I put his sponsor signature as well. He signed twice. Actually, he signed three different times. The artist signed three different times because it said three different things. Now this one says, "I, Janelle, am agreeing to do a hook that such and such wrote for such and such price at Mix Factory One on October 29th." All registration will be done through such and such, through his ASCAP, BMI, etc. And then that's all you need. You need to make sure that you got everything. I don't, you can't really even see the words, the other words, but anyways, y'all get the gist. Make sure you have everything, paperwork. Keep I keep documentation of everything. I know y'all like the screen is cracked. Yes, it is. <laughs> I hate being on the phone. <laughs> anyways, um, Make sure you keep track of everything. Also, keep all your um, your social media up to date, you know, because people, whenever they look for you, they want to know um, where to follow you at. Um, if you have a website, make sure your website is visible. Make sure your website is linked to all your other social sites. Um, make sure that you're sharing on everything. Um, I know people don't like to get on Twitter because they be like, oh, Twitter is like, no. Um, share on Twitter because you never know who's going to like it and repost it. You never know. I get a lot of followers on there and I don't even be on there that much. Now, I did start off with Periscope on there and I didn't know that it was connected, but it is. Anyways. So, um, let me see if I can pull up a BDS And I also have the email if you want. If you already have music that's already out and you're a registered artist and you just want to get your music encoded, I have the information. Just DM me on Instagram and I'll send you the information to get your stuff. Like, all you got to do is email them. Okay, here it is. Serious, I just Okay, they website. Let me write it down. So I can. Okay, anyways, I'm going to um, leave it in the comments so that everybody can see it, but I'm going to get on the website right now so that y'all can see it as well. Let me show you how to log in screen first. This is the login screen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, this is the login screen. Can y'all see that? Okay, so let me log in. You ever has anybody ever been showing you something on their phone and they're like hey i want to show you this picture <laughs> and they'll show you the picture and then you swipe the wrong way and you see a picture that you don't want to see <laughs> that happened to me the other day somebody was like can i have your instagram and take a picture with you i'm like oh i want to see the picture so i'm like oh and i don't even even know what i did i think i touched their phone the wrong way and seen crazy shit. <laughs> People is crazy. All right. Okay, so what they, I think I can do one. Let me try to do one real quick to see if I can show y'all. All right, boom. Okay, so this is, I don't know if you can see that real well. And I don't know how to turn the camera around. All right, so what they ask for 
the question is they ask you for your the title of the song and you got to put everything correct and also whenever you put your mp3 tracks in you got to make sure it's your name no it's the name of the song no your name underscore underscore the name of the song or you can put the name of the song underscore underscore your name underscore underscore your name all right so um you got to make sure everything is correct uh first and last name if that's what you use or whatever your artist name is um the title of your song your label um if you're signed to a label i know um a lot of you guys are all independent um i'm independent but i also have a team and uh, my team we built a label so um if you have a team build your own label you know um i i don't suggest you know um i work with my family and my man and that and that's really it as far as my my team i don't suggest everybody to do that but if you do if you do i don't know about the but if you do um i suggest that you guys come up with a name you know so um also they ask for you to put notes um you need your upc number you need your irc number now i think irc number only comes with ascap members because i didn't have an irc and i had to be in my number um, i mean with my um, cd baby but um if you have cd baby you can find your upc on your cd baby account and they also ask for you to put your tracks what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot this and I'm going to put it up. That's just what I'm going to have to do. Okay, now let's go to CD Baby because on CD Baby, you got to get your UPC code from them. Now your UPC code and you always want to keep your BMI number. That is very important. Your BMI number is like a music social security number. So make sure you keep your BMI number. I don't give a damn what. Anytime you do a song with somebody, here's my BMI number. Make sure y'all do split sheets. Always do a split sheet. If you are going to coalition on on Greenfield and um with um DJ Mark or with my man Math, if you're gonna be um, doing a studio session up there and you're gonna be having a feature, they got split sheets right up there. All you gotta do is say, Hey, can I get a split sheet? It's right there. Get one. So also 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 keep 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 track of all your work that you do that's your resume that's your music resume everything that you do um how many views you get you know always 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 promote it too also if you work with somebody for instance um if we was to do a song together i'm gonna promote the song just like as if it's my own if you work with somebody that's not doing that work with people who want you to win too you know what i'm saying because you want to win just as well as they want to win some people only want to win and be the only one winning so make sure you around people that want to see you win um flash drives and hard drives are very important this is this is my hard drive and this is the core to it this is my case to it flash drive you can get any type of flash drive you can get it from anywhere if you at coalition if you at mix factory one i know for sure that they sell um flash drives there so make sure that you keep your flash drive at every session that you go to also whenever you finish with every session all you gotta say is hey can you put my session on here why not you always want to have your session because what if you end up somewhere else um you never know you might move out of town or your producer might move out of town your engineer might leave you need your track outs because you always want to know like you, you need your track outs period that's another part of having all your stuff together keep your track outs you can always get something fixed you can go to any other studio with a track out um as long as you have your track outs any other producer or engineer could fix whatever you feel like it's not working um you can redo your whole song over again with your track outs or if you don't have your track outs you got to start from scratch <laughs> So always make sure you get your track outs. Any studio that you go to, they really don't even keep your sessions after 30 days. I think they delete everything from off their stuff because they get so many people. So you always want to make sure that you have your own. You want to take all your stuff because what if one day you make it 
and um when you make it you think the people gonna be like oh um where's where's the song at i know you you know we're we gonna give you something new though but no they're not no they want that same song that you just made it hot with and they gonna want them track outs they gonna want the session because they gonna want to do whatever they want to do with it y'all know that <laughs> and if you don't know now you know all right anyways don't be around people who don't want to see you win. Um, do music with people that do want to see you win and that do want to share your stuff. Like, you shouldn't really have to. And if you're doing music with somebody and they don't follow you, I suggest you not to do no music with them again. Because, and I'm not trying to be funny and I'm not trying to be petty, but support goes a long way. It don't take nothing, especially on Instagram. It don't take nothing to double tap. What that take? Nothing. It don't take nothing to double tap your screen. This don't take nothing. If you go on like this all day, you can go like this. You know what I'm saying? It don't take nothing to like something. It don't take nothing to share. Hit the share button. You know, show your people support. A lot of times they don't know that you don't support them. If you ain't showing no love, just show them some love. Show them some support because it takes a lot of support for independent artists. I done seen people win at competitions because they had a paid crowd. And if you don't know what a paid crowd is, some of y'all know what a paid crowd is. You pay somebody to come in with you, a bunch of people, and then whenever it's your turn, they they make the they they the crowd, they go crazy. I done seen it happen. Seriously, and then that person won because of crowd participation. You know, they do stuff to beat the game. <laughs> so, anyways. I'm just saying. All right. Now, it's a couple artists that I've worked with personally that I will never, ever work with again. I won't. It's not, I don't care how much money they offer. I don't care about none of that. It's, it's nothing in the world can make me. Because if you can do business wrong the first time, to me, you can do business wrong the second time. Not saying that you can't be forgiven. Of course you can be forgiven. Do I have to deal with you? No, I don't. So... I don't. It is what it is. You know, I wish you the best. I want you to win. I don't have to deal with you. So, anyways, so what do y'all want to talk about? Ain't nobody even let me know nothing. I'm just talking. Just talking. I could talk for hours. Really. I'm my own friend. I talk to myself anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very true with life. That's why I said if I wouldn't have went to prison, I wouldn't be able to deal with the stuff that I deal with now. Because you don't think women was petty. You don't think the women was acting crazy all the time. These, I almost said the N-word, but these men out here, especially some of the men in the music industry, they act like females anyway. You know, you gotta really pick and choose who you talk to. You gotta pick, it's like, all right, what inspires me to write? Um, sometimes a beat, I can hear a beat and just get to writing. You know, um, honestly, the first two years I was in prison, I couldn't write. And I remember telling my mom, Mama, I can't write, I can't write. And I don't know, one day I woke up and I just started writing again. But being able to write my problems out, being able to just have somebody it, i can give somebody chills through the words that i sing you know what i'm saying so i can write about anything only subject i've been having a problem with is sneakers <laughs> but what inspires me is just music period like my man he makes to me the best beats every time i hear one of his beats i get inspired to write um sometimes i can write about somebody else's situation i can get inspired by their situation to write I just, anything really can inspire me. Life is this music industry, my life, lupus, um, anything. So <laughs> I just want to be able to be felt and be heard. I didn't really so much want it to be seen. You know, I wasn't really, I'm, I have never been big on just videos, videos. You know, I'll do a video soon. I'm about to drop a video real soon. But I just, I was really just waiting. So ask me some more questions. I'm willing to answer anything. 
I done been through the good, the bad, and the ugly in the music industry. So you ask me whatever. And no answer. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, we've been rocking for 30 minutes. Damn. <laughs> okay, and my favorite artist. Growing up, my favorite artist has always been like uh, Mary J. Blige. I love Mary. I love Rihanna. Um, I listen to a lot of male artists like uh, L. Hay, uh, Black. What made me decide? Okay, what made me to start um, singing professionally? Honestly, it's always been my biggest passion. And I had a dream to just let go, quit my job, the job that I did have. <laughs> you know, you don't really get paid as much as if you're not a felon. I don't care what nobody say. You know, it took a long time for anybody to even hire me. So I was just like, you know what? I got to do something that I love to do anyway. I don't like to just... I'm gonna tell you who I would like to work with in a second. But I didn't wanna just be working at hotels all the time. Everywhere I work, everybody like, no, don't leave, please don't leave. I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> I hate working for other people. I hate, I, I hated it. Especially like having lupus, I hate. My feet hurt the worst, especially with my arthritis. I hate being on my feet all the time because they always hurt but I always forced myself to do it because I know I had to work but to know that I don't have to do that and I can just do what I love I've been surviving for about a year and a half now <laughs> off just singing yeah oh that's dope okay now who I would like to work with in the mainstream are you asking for like a mainstream artist or just a local artist out here because mainstream, oh my God, I would love to do a song with Chris Brown. I got a bomb ass song for us. I would love to do a song with Chris Brown. Um, Brianna, but she ain't really been doing nothing lately. So I don't want to force her to come out in her shell, but if she wants to, we can do a song together. <laughs> um, I think his name is Roddy Rich, is it? I want to do a song with him though. Um, on some hood shit, I want to do a song with him. Um, it's not really too many artists that I ever really was just like, I want to go work. I want to work with them because I didn't really, I didn't have no features on my album, so I just, mm, I'll be a feature for somebody else. I don't mind, but it's just like if I'm gonna really do something, it gotta be like. Because I know Chris Brown will bring the sound that, like, to the song that I wrote. I'm ready for that. It's going to be a dope-ass song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what else? Okay, so, Catherine, that's what I was going to ask you. Do you make wigs? Hmm. Let me know. <laughs> so um, ask me some more questions. I'm with a second. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, um, I have 60 tattoos. Um, I have like, like six piercings, I think. But before I went to prison, I had a lot of piercings. A lot. Like 32. A lot. Piercings and tattoos has always been one of my friends. Hey, how you doing, Darrell? Um... I used to be a cutter, so I kind of tried to transition myself from cutting to um, just getting tattoos. So you can tell by the body count of how many tattoos I got, <laughs> how long I've been stopping. So, this was my last big cut. I almost died from that. My whole hand was split up there. But I got pictures of that too. That was wicked. But I won't do it no more. I got things to do on this earth. All right. <laughs> so um, I've been to a bunch of different states. I went on tour with Corey Guns. Um, we went to like four different cities. Um, 
I went on tour with um, myself and I took a couple people with me and I just had them perform. I did a couple features with them, so I just had them perform the songs that we did. And then I let them do a couple of theirs that they did by themselves. Um, also, if, if I fuck with you, and I'm doing something like if I'm going out of town, cause I do a lot of shows. Um, if I'm going out of town and um, we got a song together, I'm gonna be like, hey, what you doing this month? You trying to go out of this way? You trying to go out that way? I'm gonna be in Oklahoma on the 21st. So anybody that I got a feature with, if you wanna go to Oklahoma and just expand your horizons, get to know people, perform somewhere else besides in Detroit, let me know. DM me on Instagram. Also, I'm doing a challenge called Best Bars Challenge. The challenge is it's not a Detroit beat. It's just a regular beat that I feel like no, not anybody can rap on it. But if you feel like you can, it's got one of my hooks on it, and I'll send it to you. Just DM me on Instagram, and I'll send me your email, and I'll email it to you, and let's see what you got. I done already had like five or six people already do it. And they did dope. So, and the challenge, like I said, is it's not a Detroit beat. It's not. <laughs> but I do have another challenge coming up with a Detroit beat. Since everybody feel like it has to be a Detroit beat in Detroit. Well, <laughs> Y'all just scared to do something different. A lot of people is. Okay. Anyways, ask me some more questions. Let me see if I went over everything. Pretty much went over everything. <laughs> oh, um, does hair, the wigs. Also, um, a little recap of the last video. Um, I still been taking the colloidal gold and the colloidal silver. Um, I just actually started using the silver on my skin. So I'm trying that out. I got some colloidal silver on my skin. Do I ever listen to oldies? It just depends on what you mean by oldies. Um, I used to be in a band. I played a bass guitar. And the name of my band was Class X. And it was in prison on a yard. And it was me and a few other studs and, well, we used to rock out. Um, no, I was listening to, like, we'll play, like, Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train. Um, just rock, um, classical rock. I listen to a lot of country. I don't really listen to a lot of oldies. My sister does. She's a big oldies fan. But me, I'm like, um. All right. I don't even, my sister, she loves karaoke. I've been to so many karaoke in Oklahoma. They know the fuck out of me. They do. <laughs> they know who I am. Me and my sister, every time they see us, they be like, hey, Jaleesa, hey, Janelle. Like, hey. I, my sister loves karaoke. I always go to karaoke for my sister. But I don't even like doing cover songs at all. I don't. I don't like singing other people's songs. I like to write my own music. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Captain, you funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, um, also, I just stopped smoking um, zigzag wraps. Um, it's just a wrap that you put your um, weed in. I just stopped smoking that because it was, um, I feel like it was hurting my throat and my chest. So I just started going old school. I smoke joints now. <laughs> So make sure that um, y'all be careful. Watch your health. Make sure that you take care of yourself. For real. <laughs> so, all right. I don't want to be on here too long. I got to get to the studio today and get to writing. Oh, yeah. Also, if y'all need beats, my man on Instagram is mav.gd. That's M-A-V dot G-D. I think I can pull it up. Anyways, um, if you're looking for a producer, engineer, um, whatever, holla at him. He is in Detroit right now and we'll be here till Monday. And then after that, we are outro. Back to Atlanta.
I miss Atlanta for real. And then after that, we go on to um, Cali. I got to do those two videos out there. Here's his Instagram. Map.gd. I know it's backwards, but whatever. <laughs> He's worked with, um, he was um, one of hell of his producers and engineers. Um, he worked with Ray J, Boosie, um, DZ, T Grizzly, Snapdog, um, SB Schooly, me, um, Baby Blue Woe from um, um, Love and Hip Hop, and uh, Pretty Ricky. I was trying to think of what the group name. I was gonna say Blue. I was gonna say Blue Star for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Blue Star. Anyways, um, also if you're on Facebook, make sure that you follow me on Facebook. Um, my page is The Real Miss Pretty Eyes or Janelle Reyes. Y'all know that's my my regular page. Um, I'm also on Twitter and Periscope. If you got a Periscope account, make sure you follow me on Periscope. Everybody knows who I am on Periscope. So, and any more questions? Try vaping. I'm gonna try that. You know, I was I was looking for a pen, a pen and some um some cartridges. If I could find all of that, I'm gonna get it today. For real, I need it. <laughs> I love Periscope. Obviously. <laughs> Let me say. I get a lot of people asking me to come back. They're like, come back. All right. This is my Periscope account. My name on it is Janelle Reyes. Janelle underscore Reyes. I changed it. It was just pretty eyes because a lot of people know me by pretty eyes. But I got like like about 8,000 followers. I ain't been on in a minute. I was on yesterday. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to try that. Well, where do you get that bait from? I need to go there. Oh yeah, another thing, artists, make sure that all of your accounts line up, like have pretty much the same name. Or at least the same picture. Cause I got somebody that fake. They got fake accounts with my name and face, which is weird. <laughs> Whatever. They've been doing that since since before I was out here singing. <laughs> okay. Well, where's that head shop at? Do I need to come out there? Cause I will. <laughs> I love to travel. I'm always on the road. <laughs> I am. And wherever you are, where you at in Ohio? Psh, a girl I'll be in Ohio next week. What you mean? <laughs> That's nothing. So, Ohio, here I come. I'm going to the head shop. <laughs> you know what? They might have some at my. Um... Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to be driving through because I got to go to Oklahoma. So, and I'll just come just because. If I can. <laughs> but um, in Oklahoma, um, in Broken Arrow, where I'm from, they got my favorite, favorite, favorite shop. It's called Sassy's. It's a sex shop. They got everything, everything. Dildos, strap-ons. They got vibrators. They got bongs. They got face masks. <laughs> they got everything. Yes, you can get a drop from me. I got you. They got everything. And they know me real well. <laughs> Sad to say. But they know your girl real well. Every time I come in, they be like, hey, there you are. Where you been at? You know, I'm back. I had to come back. So I got to make sure I get my cards together. You know, you bring your cards and you got so many stamps, you get like 50% off. I need that 50% off. <laughs> yeah, I'm <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all, I'm petty. But um, on the real... I've been on this live way too long because I feel like I need to smoke. Like right now. Like, like I can feel it in my lungs. It's just not there in reality. So. <laughs> so I love you guys so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you for even joining my live. 
Um, I'm gonna go live again. Um, I don't know when. It's just I just have spurs in a moment. I just started this YouTube, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna start interacting with people, and I'm gonna start talking to people because I do want to talk. I want to get to know people. I don't have a lot of friends. Music is my best friend. Then it's my man and my family. Not in that order, but still. <laughs> Music has always been my best friend, though. Yeah. So, um, that's why I really stopped going live on Periscope because um, I used to drive trucks and I used to always go live. So I used to take them on the truck truck ride with me, but I only went live whenever I would get off work because customers, privacy, you know. But sometimes I will go. I, I'll go live when I'm in there. And then the customer will come in. I'm like, <laughs> but I stopped doing that because um, my last trip was in South Dakota. It was negative 22 degrees. And I was like, negative 22 degrees? I ain't getting out this truck. Keep this motherfucker running, please. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> and this is my last job. <laughs> And it was my last job. I'll never drove trucks again. Never delivered a piece of furniture or nothing. <laughs> and I did that when I first got out. And then I had my own massage business. But I only had um, like doctors, teachers, lawyers. I had people like that. And um, I enjoyed it. I just, my hands would get stuck from my arthritis. So I just stopped doing that too. Um, the name of my um, massage business was Pretty's Touch because I was pretty eyes. Pretty's Touch. <laughs> so, and it was absolutely no hand jobs. The fuck? I wish a motherfucker would ask me. And it was no happy endings. I'll headbutt a bitch if they ask me. Happy ending. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ain't finna be no happy nothing. Only thing happy is gonna be me after you lace my hands with my payment. Have a good day. <laughs> That's why I didn't have no black people because I didn't have no black clients. I'm sorry, y'all. I just didn't because they always thought it was something about sex. I'm like, no, bro, people really be hurting. People really want massages. <laughs> I get like um, husband and wives and um, one of my um, one of my biggest clients, actually, he did all my tattoos. He did this one. He did. Uh, he did this one. This one. He did this one. That was one of my biggest clients and one of my favorites. Like matter of fact, it'll be times where I don't even have to do a, a massage for him and his wife. I'll be like, oh my god, I'm hurting. He'd be like, is your lupus again? I'm like, yeah. Come into the shop and we do your tattoo. Cause he don't want me cutting myself, so he like come into the shop. And do. Me and my clients was real close. All of us was real close. Um, even whenever I stop doing it, they'll call and check on me. Um, a lot of them was the first to buy my album. So, you know, just people I come in, uh, in touch with, it's either you love me or you hate me. <laughs> but there's no in between, you know. I'm a Taurus. Taurus gang, okay, May 1st, I'm a real Taurus. All right. And, um, <laughs> yeah, really, and even um, all my prison family. It was my family. So it's like, you know, you get close to people. So, yeah. So, and I love to be around people. Um, so sometimes, because my look is sometimes I just be in so much pain. I'm like, sweet. Like yesterday, I was like, ugh. Now, the worst thing ever is everybody knows I got this thing on my foot, you know, um, this little cast, shoe boot, whatever. Yesterday I was at the studio. I don't know when they start, when they built this little step that I tripped on, but they must have just built it the day before because I could have sworn it wasn't there the day th that I was there, the, the day before that. I could I could have sworn. But for some reason, this step just so happened to come out of nowhere and I tripped and stubbed my toe. The same toe that's been hurting. I was so mad. I wanted to quit music. I wanted to quit. I, I wanted to. I wanted everybody to be fired out of that establishment. <laughs> I was so upset. I was hurting so bad. 
oh my gosh i can't even explain the pain y'all ain't never stubbed your toe come on now i had to call i called my mama i called my daddy i called my sister i told my man i told the other people i, I was telling everybody i went live six times yesterday just to talk about my foot being stubbed you see what i'm saying that is not that, that stubbing your toe is no joke it isn't oh no i was like you know what this is what we can do we can just cut the whole leg off so i don't even have to feel the bottom Fuck it. don't even need the leg i wanted to cut from the ass cheek down bye i don't need it Dang, my toe hurt like that pissed me off i was so mad y'all just don't even know seriously and look let me see if i can move the camera so y'all can see where no nah, i didn't even want the booty no nah, i didn't want none of that i didn't want the booty i didn't want the leg i didn't want nothing but y'all see see my foot <laughs> my whole toe the big toe right into the <sighs> i was like when did y'all build that step who came up with the construction to this site <laughs> i was pissed i was i was sad i was mad i was depressed that was everything <laughs> but my foot i went to sleep early i went to sleep as soon as i came back from the studio i went to sleep at like six straight sleep shower sleep i'm out <laughs> and then i woke up last night and then joined somebody i was joining a bunch of people's lives i just wanted to just see what everybody was doing <laughs> yeah yes the reason why my foot is even in this cast thing is because of lupus like and then i had um i don't know if y'all can see these little dots but my whole arm was like swollen down to here um you know with lupus you just have random infections just anywhere i just had a random infection in my arm for no reason, like, where'd that come from? I thought I was feeling good. It's like, no, no. Lupus was like, no, bitch, no. Oh, you think, <laughs> oh, you feel good today? <laughs> yeah, bitch, not today. <laughs> That's how lupus treat us. Yeah, disrespectful, that hoe was disrespectful. I don't fuck with her, I don't, she fake. Some days she want to make me feel like I'm okay. And then after that, she want to make sure that it's not. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Truly, I do. Anyways, I'm going to get off of here and go wake my man up so he can get to the studio. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Um, make sure that y'all follow me on all my social sites. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, I will be going live again soon and just make a comment. Let me know what you want to talk about the next time. We can talk about whatever because I'm just going to keep on rambling anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I love y'all. See y'all soon.